All right, day three, going American Fossil. Everything's dusty. Oh, not, not, not that so much, but yeah, duster. <laughs> oh, here we go. Howdy, today we are at American Fossil here in Kemmerer, Wyoming. Uh, we're gonna be digging for some fossilized fish, and uh, I was here last year, had a blast, and I figured it would be a nice comeback. Dig in the public area this time, and see what we can find, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Of course, I turned off my GoPro when I was getting into it, but I got this. Only downside is the tail is on this other side here. So I'm gonna try to, oh man, it's already starting to split right there. I wanna try to keep this if I can, but it might break apart, which is a shame. This is a nice size fish. Uh. So here at American Fossil, they do have their own chisels. Now I did buy some over there at the uh, Fossil Lake Safari. And their chisels that they have are a little thicker than the ones here. And you want thin, thin chisels for this work. So these are better. I wanna try to split this down a little more. It's missing the top part here and the tail is still kind of here a little bit, but yeah, that's it. Just leave it as is. Yeah, be good practice material. Just need to yeah. thin it down a little more. No, you put it on your shelf, wait till you get home, and then do it. There we go. Make sure nothing on the other side. Perfect. there and we have a so we have an exploded fish there and then the tail of this this fish is underneath this other side here and uh shame most of the bones on this side I still keep both pieces just in case sometimes it's good to go through the small stuff too just split it times you know you might find a small poop partial fish there that one's not worth keeping Just again like that nothing how about this big block Ooh, yes. so we're gonna split it right down the center right there right there right there right there and we don't have anything. Some poop there. That was it, but let's see. Let's see if we can split the big ones down a little bit more. It's right here. Here. And this was the middle one may not do it. Well, maybe it will. Okay. Come over here on the edge. All right, let's see what we got. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, hang on, go back. Poop, okay. And nothing, so nothing in that one. So we got some fish bones there. Some small fish, the sad, the thing that sucks for this one, there is a fracture going right there. The fish. Let me look right in here. Of course, then we have fish poop right there. I think I'll keep that piece. Prep out the fish, leave the poop in place. Why not? It's too bad the tail's missing on this one. I'll still take it. I'm also using the, the, the light from the sun to cast a shadow because if there's a fish near the surface, it'll, it'll show. So right here we have a fish with the 
bones. Alright, there. Helps to use the sunlight, cast shadow, find fish. Prep that one out. We got bone here, poop there. Here on this other side, we have a fish. thinner. That's a cool fish. back in the shop these are the american fossil finds from august 22nd of 2024 now my trip here was a little bit different from my other trips um by this day i was pretty tired from pretty much digging two days straight so towards the end of the day i stopped uh, kind of splitting rocks and i started cutting some stuff down to kind of fit into the bins and uh, i'm glad i did that because i was a little tired but i still came up with a fair amount of stuff there are a lot, a lot of parcels but I do have some pretty decent size uh, full fish. Now I have been practicing some prepping. Some of them aren't as pretty. Uh, this fish is kind of cool though. It kind of folded in on itself when it got buried. But a lot of neat fish. It's missing its tail, but I like that you can see all the, the scale. So that was pretty cool. Um, got a poop. <laughs> Some of these were damaged, so we'll have to glue some of these back together. It's part of the process. You got another poop. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, there were a couple of these, I can't remember why he kept. Oh, there's a fish in that one. It's hard to see. There's a spine right here. Here's a fish in that one. But uh, yeah, I had a I had a blast. Again, a lot of parcels. I keep a lot of the parcels just because you know I can I can sell these per for pretty cheap, or they're good for practice. A little bit of both. Um, like here we have a fossil, and I was trying to keep it together. That way I can kind of prep it out. See that little cross section there? Though I think I think. That fish might go all the way through the other side. So I may have not gotten the whole fish. Won't know for sure until I get this uh, prepped out. Same thing with over here. Um, where I forgot where I saw it. But I saw the cross section right here. Got a cross section of a fish. And I remember pairing it to the other side at some point. So these two belong to each other. This one's actually about to break. So I'll be very careful when I'm getting this prepped out. Uh, sometimes the fish will die kind of upright. So that's, that's where this one is. This is the negative. So these actually would go together. Sometimes I keep them together. Sometimes I don't. And then this one. <laughs> this one. Oh gosh. I This one will be one of those ones that I have to kind of like glue back together. Because it's like in multiple pieces. And I'm like why do I have this? It's like the, I, I, I found this. I'm like, why do I have just the, the, the face of a fish? And then I remembered that this and this go to go to each other. And the, the, the tail end of the fish is here on this side. This will not be a complete fish. 
but this will be good uh, good practice. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to split this because I feel like the uh, the bone and the scale are going to stick to this top side here. So I'm going to very carefully kind of split that layer down and then bring this plate and glue it over here so I can have at least a, a quasi partial fish. And then uh, over here, got to prep that fish out and be another partial down here. I'll get these in here in a second. Um, I don't remember why I, why I kept this one, but it's a very big, very big piece. Oh, maybe that's why. So these are cross sections of fish. I may have kept this for a um, for practice of prepping down or at least splitting to see what else might be in there. Over here we have another fish. So that's the tail. And what I think is going to happen, just based off this tail right here, I'm pretty sure that the bone and scale are going to want to stick to this side here. So what I'm going to attempt to do with this one as practice is kind of, I think maybe sand this down a little bit, just enough so I can glue this, glue this to another uh, limestone plate, flip it over, and then prep from the other side. That way I can kind of get the bone all intact. Because otherwise, if I try to prep it, I have a feeling that the bone is, are just going to kind of like flake off. I think. I could be wrong. But, uh, I like this one was kind of neat. Kind of reminds me of a whale. <laughs> this out from how it like decomposed. So it's most, like, this fish was already pretty much decomposed, I think, when it died. But that's still pretty cool. And we got poop. And I try to find the tail end of that, of that fish. Sometimes I've, I've kept some of these fish. I'm like, why did I keep this? <laughs> uh, and then we have this one right here. It's actually a pretty decent sized fish. Sick. It sucks it's missing just a part down here. And then I gotta glue the tail back on. I kept the, make sure to keep the tail separate so I wouldn't break it. Nice little dip low. And then, I'm not sure if I kept this block. This block actually looks like it might belong over here. Does it? Maybe it does. Mm, that might fit there, I think. I'll find out later. We got a couple more fish over here. I'm not sure if there's going to be a good fish in this one. There might be. There might not be. I just thought it was kind of cool. One of the things that they're looking out for when they cut these, are they're looking at the cross sections. So you see here, we have a cross section of a fish there, and fish there. Here's the other side. This came off one of the other bigger plates. So those are the fish there. Go back over this side over here. There's something else right there. That could be a poop, but it could also be another fish. And the other corresponding half is right focus there so there's probably another fish I kept this purely for um, practice pieces because Amy has expressed interest in um, learning how to prep fossils so I've been keeping some good practice pieces for her I actually have a container over here of other stuff that she can prep down but uh, it, that's, that's why it's good to keep pieces just in case for practice for my two favorite finds from this trip are these two plates we have this one, because we have a, a whole, a mostly whole fish, but we also have another one right here. And so I'm going to prep this one out, and we'll have, we'll have two fish on a plate. And then this one is my favorite, because it literally has the fish that, that was pooping when it died, which I thought was kind of uh, really interesting. So I'm actually really happy with this one. I'm keeping that. <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> But yeah, these are the finds from uh, the American Fossil 2024 trip. This is my second year going to American Fossil, and it's still a highly recommended place to go if you enjoy digging for fossils or just having fun with rocks in general. Um, it's fun. You don't need a reservation for the public area. They supply all the tools. All you have to do is bring uh, snacks, waters, and stuff to protect yourself from the sun. And knee pads and uh, gloves also help quite a bit. Now, they do offer private lane digging, too, for upwards of 10 people. That one is reservation only, so you have to make sure to go to their website, see what they have available, and get, you know, reserve it in advance before you plan your trip. 
But um, that will do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you all in the next one. Rock on.